السلام عليكم So, uh, today I'm going to keep it short. I have a sore throat and uh, I need my voice for Juma, inshallah. So, uh, every Monday we talk about some Islamic qualities and Islamic manners, adab. And uh, today we'll talk about something unique in the Quran. We'll make the distinction between what they call uh, Israf and Tabdhir. Normally, when they translate them, the, uh, the, the word they use is wasting or waste. But there is actually a big difference between Israf and Tabdhir in the Quran. Uh, what we know about the Prophet is that he didn't waste. Uh, I showed you one time how much water the Prophet used for his wudu. Just a small bottle of water. This is how much he used for wudu. And he used four uh, times that much for his ghusl, like taking a shower. So one small bottle of water for his wudu. And the Prophet ﷺ, we know that he never wasted food. So even if the food was left over from yesterday or the day before, no problem, we're going to eat it. And we know that from the Sunnah, the Prophet ﷺ used to lick his fingers. That means that he finished everything. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a symbolic act uh, to, to show us that he didn't waste anything at all. And he didn't eat uh, a lot of food either. Uh, he said in the Hadith, uh, he said that I don't eat unless I'm hungry and if I eat I don't eat to the fill so I don't fill my stomach because what happens after you fill your stomach you just uh, you need to get to sleep so the, the Prophet never wasted uh, when I look at our behavior sometimes I see a lot of uh, things being wasted Inshallah, I'm going to make the distinction between Israf and Tabdir in a second. Uh, say for example, and I see this with my own eyes. So you have a notebook, maybe you use it for a couple of pages, you write something, but after that you just scribble and you tear the pages, you throw it, Mama, I need two more notebooks. It happens all the time. Also, for food, we don't want to eat uh, leftovers, many of us. Right? Although the food is nice, uh, it is not bad or anything, but we, we want to eat something new. And we, this is something we take with us when we grow, grow older. You're driving your car, you have a flat tire, I need a new car. This is what some people do. Right? If you have a shirt and one button is off or loose, I need a new one. Yeah. Uh, if you have a laptop and your son or daughter takes out one button, it happens all the time, right? The kids, when they find the, uh, the keyboard, they take all, off all the buttons. Yeah, I need a new computer. You can just put the button back, that's all. One of my friends was telling me that he was driving one time on the highway and his car broke down. He just lifted and he took the transit, he took the bus and he never went back to take his car. I'll just buy a new one. So a lot of things go to waste. Uh, there's something unique about this scarf. You know what it is? Small? Can I get Abdul Majid? Where is Abdul Majid? Come here. Yes, Tal. I got this scarf from my aunt. Uh, we call her aunt in Canada, but technically aunt is the insect. But aunt is your aunt. Aunt is the insect. Namla. So I got this car from my aunt when I was 11 years old, like Abdul Majid. Thank you, go back. So I got this when I was, actually, I got this from my aunt when that was 1989. 1989. So we're talking about almost 30 years ago, I got this. I never threw it away. Yeah, it's getting smaller, I know. but. Why should I throw it away if I need it? Yes, some people gifted me like uh, another scarf or two more scarves, but why should I throw it away? Uh, this pair of pants, I got them in 2000. And the same for this uh, pullover, you call it pullover? What do you call it? Sweater, yes. I got it, I got both of them in 2000. So we're talking about 17 years. 
So I never throw clothes unless they get small for me, or my brother wants to take them, or unless something is terrible happened, or they are torn, and I couldn't fix them. Khalas. So the reason I'm telling you this is that Islamically, we shouldn't waste. If there's something you don't need, you can give it to someone else. And now we'll make the distinction uh, between israf and tabdhir. Israf basically, when you buy something halal, but you don't make the distinction between what you want and what you need. Okay, we spoke about this last year. What you need basically is something that you cannot survive without. Like you need clothes, you need food, maybe you need a fridge, you need water, the basics. Uh, if you have seen the, uh, the Jungle Boy, the book of Jungle, jungle Book, Jungle Book, you know the bare necessities? This is what we're talking about. This is what we need. But what we want is almost everything we see in the store that we don't need. So for example, when you go to the store and uh, they have uh, snorkeling stuff, you don't even know how to swim, but I want it because it's on sale, man. I feel like an idiot if I don't buy it. 50% off, then you don't need it. No, I have to take it. Buy a boat, you know, all that stuff. So if you take stuff that you don't really need, this is called israf. When you go to a party, a walima, dinner, or a atiqa, or something, and you talk, you take more food than what you will actually eat, and it happens all the time. We end up eating about 40% of the food, the rest goes to waste. And I see it, the kids stand in front of me, especially kids, they stand in front of, in front of me in the line, or in Ramadan when we are fasting. The kids pretend to be fasting, but they just fasted for like 10 minutes. And they stand in the line and they're fighting, mashallah, they want to get food. And the people in the back, they've been fasting for 19 hours. No, I want to eat. Okay, go. So they take the plate and they go to the food. And, they take, and this is their favorite dish, like chicken, you know, biryani, fish, something they like. And they start to one spoon, two spoon. Oh man, this is... And they take the whole thing and they go. <laughs> Then they don't eat it. They just throw it away. So this is, if you take something halal, but you use too much of it, this is called israf. You are wasting, basically. Uh, tabdhir is something different. Tabdhir is basically when you buy something halal. So israf, wasting, is when you use too much stuff that you don't need, but you just want. This is called israf. If you, if you have 200 pairs of shoes, this is called israf. If you are wasting for uh, like uh, notebooks or pencils, use one you know pencil and you throw the uh, you uh, you break the like the lead, pshht, you buy a new one. This is called israf. It is something halal, but you are using too much of it. And we know that there are a lot of people who are needy of this stuff. Tadvir is when I buy something halal. Like, for example, when someone buys drugs. Even if you pay one dollar on drugs, you know, marijuana is legal now. People buy this. I'm not talking about the medical one. I'm talking about the marijuana. Right? You don't know this stuff, okay? And uh, alcohol or pork, if something is haram and I pay money on it, this is called tabdhir. Right? So, the ulama say if, and this is the last thing I will say, inshallah. If you give $100,000 to the masjid, this is not israf because this is for a good cause. The money is not wasted. But if you spend $1 on cigarettes or drugs, this is called tabzir. This is wasting, right? So this is waste. I like to conclude when I talk about this subject with a statement from uh, uh, Ja'far. He's one of the descendants of al Hussein radiallahu anhu. He used to give a lot of money in sadaqah. He, used to, he was like a businessman from the family of the Prophet ﷺ, a descendant of the Prophet ﷺ. So we know that they are very generous. He used to, he had a business, he used to give money out all the time, like spend a lot. So someone criticized him and he said, why are you wasting? Why do you waste? So he said, this is not waste, right? When you do something, you give sadaqah, you help those who are less fortunate, this is not waste. 
And he said something very unique, and I wish maybe one day you're going to frame it and keep it in your room. He said, إِنِّي عَوَدْتُ اللَّهَ بِعَادَةٍ وَعَوَدَنِي بِعَادَةٍ عَوَدَنِي أَنْ أَتَفَضَّلَ عَلَى خَلْقِهِ وَعَوَدَنِي أَنْ يَتَفَضَّلَ عَلَيْهِ وَعَوَدْتُهُ أَنْ أَتَفَضَّلَ عَلَى خَلْقِهِ فَأَخَافُ إِنْ قَطَعْتُ فَضْلِي عَنِ النَّاسِ أَنْ يَقْطَعَ فَضْلَهُ عَنِّي Translation He said, I have a habit with Allah and Allah has a habit with me. My habit, his habit with me is to shower me with his favors, to give me. And my habit with the people is that I give people. Whatever I don't need, I give to people, I give charity. So I'm afraid if I cut off my habit with Allah, He's going to cut off his habit with me. If I don't give, he will not give me. Right? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and your family. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us away from wasting and doing unnecessary and important things. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our lives and give us a happy and joyful life here. And uh, see you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.